battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 game for you on Kosovo map. I'm using Russia, my opponent's using Germany for this one. I'm in red, my opponent's with the Germans are in blue. He's gone straight for his engineer, sending rifles up. Both of us going for the closest oil derricks. Looks like an immediate clash. Got him. My engineer just just turned back in time. Yeah, I got the better of that engagement. So yeah, we've both kind of stalled in the early stage there, sort of ran into each other after taking one oil, Derek. But we're churning out rifles. My opponent's got a stream heading for there, so he's made up his disadvantage straight away. But I'm running into the vision range, so that was a big mistake. I didn't, I thought I hadn't, I, why I went back, I don't know. That was a really stupid thing to do. Looks like we're on the same build though. Two refineries, war factory, another refinery, and then straight into the service depot is what I will be doing. And I'm guessing that's what my opponent is likely to do. There's no engineer in there. I don't think he's trained another one. I didn't. But I was checking in case he had trained another one just to see if he was going to drop, uh, an, drop an engineer off here or try and take this one with an engineer. So I went to check it out with my APC. Looks like a bit of a misclick with the old rally point. My opponent's checking the same, I guess, seeing if I've dropped an engineer off. But he has got one now. Shame I didn't continue to hunt. He's turned back. I didn't want my vehicle away from my infantry t too much. Especially as my opponent knew. Yeah, my opponent's ahead on the expansions. <clears throat> but we'll see about the refinery, though. He's placed a, a base defence here. Nice little idea. But we're both equal on about where we're placing our refinery and when. Although he did make use of the time and placed something here. <clears throat> I went for a... Let's have a look. My... Uh, Grendrop was immediately shut down. Immediately. my There's my APC, it escaped, but... Here we go. He's testing my defences. Luckily I was on the ball. And I saved my APC at least, but my Grendrop was completely shut down. 
here we go lot and I'm not over committing and rushing into it I'm trying to see if I've got the uh, advantage but he's bringing up support here I tried to I saw that was gonna die my APC I was too late to save it but look I had enough rockets there all right that's not bad needed more tanks at the front line but he's hitting me here look caught me out a corker Hey, the ore truck, the ore truck was taking good care of itself though, drop off that cash, but I told it to escape before it finished dropping it off. I've slowed them down a little bit, that attack force has now been weakened and I've handled that, so I've seen now and I don't overreact. There you go, look, <clears throat> I'm sending that lot back because that's an overreaction here. He did catch me out, so yeah, you freak out, oh blimey, he's got my home main base, but don't overreact to it, but... I uh, saw that and um, decided to attack here and then, you know, the picture immediately looked bad. So, you know, sh I should be escaping now. But look, I'm pressing the advantage. I've got base defences and one tank. So, and I'm building luck. So, I'll have base defences in front of me soon. There you go, look, screening my men with base defences. I've actually turned that engagement, and to be fair, I was like, I should be running now, but look, I've turned it. So, careful management and placing those structures ahead and with your men, look, like that. Keep placing them. Keep placing them, keep going. And uh, I've pushed through, and it uh, looks like my opponent's running low on cash. But yeah, I've overdone it. They did hold me off there. They did well. But he's got no cash. Army values are not far between. That situation there is not too bad. I can hold them. I've got that enough. That, that is enough to hold them there. Now, yeah, my cash, situ cash situation is excellent. I've got eight grand. They've got nothing. This is it. You know, I've got him. All I had to do was attack somewhere else. At nine minutes, the game is all mine. Eight grand cash, my opponent's got zero. But our army values are equal. And he's immediately recovering, making a bad situation good. He's expanding, and I am as well. Look, I'm even escorting my, engine and my MCV. I'm not losing it. I've got this force here. We're still climbing equally in army value, though. And I didn't finish it. I've got my engineer here. And I want to take that oil derrick and protect him there. But I'm thinking about what's going on here, look. So I've placed <coughs> another refinery. I've just adjusted that construction yard so I've got build radius to protect as much as possible. And I knew I was vulnerable there. Look how many ore trucks I've got up there. Now he's sending this force. Yeah, he's dividing his force with both equal army value, look. My opponent's still hard up for cash, but he's getting by. And I stopped that initial attack because it was only a couple of tanks, but this force here is a problem. But I didn't want to just let him control the dictate the battle and turn it against me. So I kind of let him take this, save what I could look, and back away there. Um, and sort of uh, gather a force while doing something else. I think, yeah, it was probably this attack here dividing my attention look and resources. You know, my attention was split quite badly. I thought trade time for space there in the first place, but I did send a force south, but, you know, that got sidetracked. I rallied what I had here. These have been beaten back in this attack. So now this is running away. I've had to give up another expansion. 
and my opponent is equal in cash now, equal in all harvesters or trucks. So this is getting away escaping, I'm trying to rally some forces and I still haven't attacked here. My automatic counter-attack is not being implemented and I know to do that, it's just I'm getting hit with multiple threats and he kind of um, like beat me when when I had everything going for me. Still two in two each in oil derricks, but now I've, I'm down one ore truck. It's seven to eight now because he's doing killing them here. So it'll be six. There you go, six to eight. This one's getting away by the looks of it, and I'm starting to respond. Base defenses, infantry, tanks. Now he knows I'm responding, so they're probably going to move away. And that's what I should have done. But he did have equal army value, so. I should learn to take advantage of him not having any cash. Um, somehow, you know, I should have attacked in different places. That's what he did, and he beat me. But well, here we go, I've got them. No problem. Right, now I've got a V2. I'm moving this way. This force is here. So we are both sort of a base trade situation. Let's see how I handle it, though, because he can overrun me here and here. I've got zero cash. I'm saving all trucks, look. They're idle. They're idle. That's a crime. There we go, they're attacking. Right, I've got enough force here, so I didn't overreact to that. I finally stopped it at my home base. And I've got resources here. I've lost that, and I've lost everything here, and I've given it up in order to attack there. So there you go, I've, I've cleared him out here. That's something. Now I should have had thieves in there. I've just been kind of overwhelmed I think but I need to look at the army value now 22 21 to 24 so he's slightly ahead but that's you know that shouldn't that won't decide it how we use what we've got is how we'll decide it look I'm I know what where he is and I'm consolidating my trying to consolidate my forces 23 to 26 this is a crucial engagement <clears throat> Here we go. Run out of infantry, and that at this point I knew I was in trouble. That any advantage I had is gone, and I'm in trouble. I knew it. 18 to 8 now, 7. So he's got a 10 grand advantage over me now. Things have, you know, turned around after that single engagement. And I did take out this expansion at least. It's not nothing compared to what he took out. He's done a lot of damage. Now he's going to attack there. And I knew it. I knew that's what he was going to do. There, you see, I'm reacting to that. Some nice V2 strikes. I've lost an ore truck. Two. There's a V2 down, but my uh, flat trucks, I must have just lost them at uh, the wrong moment. Yeah, we've got a small eco raid up here, look. I've got an idle ore truck, that's bad. But there's my primary production, I know, know what's going on. And here's an attack. I should have stopped right there. And then brought the V2 in. But I saw he didn't have tanks. I just didn't quite have enough infantry. Oh, I've got a guy. 
I can't press that attack. There's no way near enough um, mass, in no way near enough units, tanks, or backup to push through there. So it's time to retreat there, and that's it. My army is in a bad situation. I've got eight grand army value, though. My opponent's got 20 now. But he's hiding little groups of tanks to the side and stuff. Obviously, I've got no clue exactly that they're there. So it's difficult. I've got no scouts in place. I'm obviously on the back foot, look. And it never, um, it never, <laughs> never looked right again after I lost that engagement here where i had to fall back with my v2s that was that was me um i think that was the moment where it really turned against me and i'm struggling to turn it turn it around um like i say since then i've been reacting to to attacks and that means he's in control he's looking for my ore trucks i've got four left to his nine 10 grand army value to my opponent's 25. And I've got thieves churning out now. Uh, these rocket troops, um, allied light, allied medium tanks, they're not that powerful. Uh, so a few rocket troops can defend your base against a few medium tanks. Your rocket troops are enough. I'm taking thieves and I've got an engineer, but they shouldn't be moving like that, look. Obviously, it's just, that's a asking for trouble. It's a waste. And here, look, but I'm, you know, uh, trying to get captures and infiltrations on. But I know that's there. My opponent's got no money. This was my kind of last hope, was to get a big chunk of cash. Yeah, my opponent's got 31, 33 grand army value, and he's still killing ore trucks, so... Yeah, that's where his... Uh, that's where everything's gone into his army value, is um, all the cash he's earned. He's uh, spent it all. So as none, I can't take any. He's spent it all already. That's not, you know, how rotten is that? My last hope. My last desperate hope. And he spent his money. Yeah, at least I shot them down. That was nice. Enjoy. It's not over yet. Look, I'm going to make a stand. I'll never give up. He's going to have to earn it. Saving the V2 look. But I did, uh Oh, look at that, you see? You know, keep fighting. Oh, my V2 has been cornered. Tanya? There's Tanya. I knew she was about, I heard her. I just didn't know she was there. But look, now my uh, MCV has to pack up and change my plans for expansion. You can no longer holiday in this corner. He's got to turn back because these guys have turned up and they brought her with them. So the last thing I want to do is set that up near near her. Although when I heard that Tanya's um, signature laugh, there wasn't a lot I could really do to prepare and that for her. I already had my hands full. That's it. Nothing more to be done. I've congratulated my opponent. Usual pleasantries. She's not getting it. Thank you very much. She's just... She's not getting it. But there you go. That game turned against me all right, didn't it? And I started so well. Um, I threw it away with an attack here. I really turned it against me with when I failed there and let my infantry die there. I really messed that up because against a good player, I didn't know who I was up against. I wasn't... You know, I didn't know. But... Um, I really shouldn't have let my infantry die on that engagement here where I took first got my V2s into a proper engagement and my infantry died here without proper screening and stuff. And then the rest of the engagement, I just had tanks, not enough infantry and V2s. So, 
you know, it was it was a shame. I let some units move around here and get clipped off piecemeal. And that group of infantry died there without proper screening. Such a shame. But yeah, there and there it turned against me. And then, I don't know, I let them take all these assets here and move this way. But, and it allowed me to take out this in return. Maybe that wasn't the right choice, but I thought rather than then let that let them dictate what i do i'll do this instead and then prepare a defense without losing too much hopefully so i thought i'd go for that route rather than let them force me to react immediately because they'll only hit me somewhere else and in the meantime i've not destroyed this so i thought you know do that so um we'll look through the graphs and charts there's the army graph a bit of ups and downs then earnings graph, finishing army, yes, is a decent size with helicopters and Tanya. Yeah, that's a convincing finishing army. Combat chart, 478 kills to 323, three, so it was a, a convincing battle, a fair amount of losses. Yeah, buildings, a lot of buildings destroyed. A lot of value destroyed by both sides. Um, support powers. My opponent is preparing a GPS satellite. Lovely. And he's still building away quite happily. Right. Economy tab. 140 earned by me. 140,000 earned by me. 173,000 earned by him. And about the same spent. I spent a bit more. He spent slightly more. So... You know, there's the economy tab. Basic tab, see I'm at 34 actions per minute. That particular player was at 43 actions per minute. So, uh, you know, is uh, that's my usual actions per minute rate. Usually slightly 30, slightly over 30. Um, well, there, there's the basic tab and the game for you i hope you all enjoyed it that certainly turned against me all right but it was a good fun game i enjoyed that and well done to my opponent um so and it was a decent battle good fun game i got a good amount of practice uh with some a few tech units tech assets you know practice against a good player I'll, I'll learn from games like this it's good fun next time hopefully i'm in that situation I'll, you know, not let it turn against me. I'll learn to keep an advantage because this player, what they did was make a bad situation good. And that's the sign of a really good player, a skillful player that's better than your average player because the situation he was in was at zero cash and he had to use what assets he had. So that was a bad situation for him. I had cash and, you know, I'm not, it, I wasn't going to make it easy for him. I still was fighting and defeating armies up here up until later, and I did destroy this, so it wasn't, well, it wasn't that easy for him. But it was a sign of a really good player. If they can turn a bad situation like that around, then, you know, it's a player to be wary of and that. So um, I hope all my viewers enjoyed that game. I certainly enjoyed it. Shame I didn't get it, but, you know, there's always next time. And um, thank you very much for watching. So uh, take care all, and for now, goodbye. Battle control terminated.